and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the O'Brien Rink here in Hoover, Massachusetts for today's game between the Winchester High School Junior Varsity Girls Hockey Team and the Wakefield Warriors Girls Varsity Ice Hockey Team. My name is Luca Tedesco and happy school vacation week. Before we begin, let's go to our starting lineups first for Wakefield. Starting at left wing will be number seven, Aaron Leary. Starting at center will be number 14, Julia Welch. And at right wing will be number four, Ava Gustafson. Starting on defense will be number 19, Charlotte Rossion. And Maddie DeFeo, she will be wearing number 17. And in net tonight, well today, will be number 33, Abby Boudreau. And now for Winchester, starting lineups appear to be going across will be Sophie Parks wearing number 19, Amy Kelly wearing number 7, Sally Burke wearing number 10, and on defense should be Addison Walsh wearing number 3, and number four, Kate Sardone. Starting in net will either be Molly Hillier or Emma O'Connell. We can't expect them to split the game. This is the second to last game of the season for JV this year. The boys and girls varsity teams will start their playoff runs tomorrow. First will be the boys, second will be the girls. We hope you can join us for those. Officials get ready to go. And uh, something of note, uh, something of note is that Winchester lost a key player in Bridget Dooley, but we're underway here. Hillier will get the start, and we're underway. Up the ice goes Kelly, sends it across the direction of Burke, and it goes down the ice, no icing. Burke battles along the corner boards, gets it out behind the net, where it's able to be taken over by number seven in red, Aaron Leary. Out into the neutral zone it goes, no icing on that play. So number 20, that is O'Flynn will try to get it there, first shot recorded against Hillier. Shot blocked down by her own player, inside once again. They'll battle towards the blue line, let's see if they can get it out here. They cannot, taken over now by the at the point by, I believe that was number, I believe that was 19, Charlotte Rossion, and both teams head off for the first change of the night. Walsh brings it up, sends it across the ice to Parks, back over to Walsh again. Sardone give, gives and goes, but they'll go around, rings it around the boards. Gets it out to the point once again. They'll try to send it inside, and it goes wide. Taken over now, and up the ice. Attempts to go Wakefield, but they can't get it to move. Good battle down along the boards, and into the defensive zone it goes for Wakefield. They'll head into the Winchester attacking zone. And it's out in front again, rebound outside, and Wakefield takes the lead. Less than two minutes in. There's the first goal of the game. Just about um, just about 195 seconds in, or just about 95 seconds in the game. They'll set up here onto the ice is number 12, and we're back underway. 
Winchester wins the draw once more. Burke tries to get the puck there. And into the neutral, the attacking zone it goes. Back into the neutral zone it goes. They'll try to bring it up, but that play goes offside. Wholesale changes for both sides. O'Flynn remains on the ice, but a new offensive line comes on. It'll be Wang against Racine, May Racine, and Racine wins it. Into the neutral zone and into the attack zone it goes. O'Flynn picks it up. She tries to send it the direction of Wang, of Wang, but it just doesn't go. They'll battle right on the blue line. And they're able to keep it in off of the foot of Maeve Racine. Her sister Fiona also playing today. And into the attack zone comes Wakefield. But they're able to make a good stop early. Or it can go south. And back down the other way goes Winchester, but they're stopped in their tracks. They pick up the puck along the corner board. They'll try to send it in, but it doesn't go. It'll be a race for it. Battle forms along the boards. And play stopped. Right about now. And here we go. Puck back in the play. They'll send it along towards the point. Burke makes a good defensive play there. Taken over now by Sardone. Sardone changes direction. They continue to battle along the boards. No penalty there. May have been a hook, but they play on. Burke tries to bring it up, but her pass broken off. Back behind the net they go. They try to take it around. Sends it back to the point. She fires. And a good save made there by Hillier off the glove side, but it stays in. They continue to battle for it. Fires once more. Good block made there by Kelly, but it's broken up again. She fires, and it goes high of the net. They'll battle behind it. And it just pops out into the corner where Burke is able to pick it up. Changes direction, sends it into the what would be the mid-slot. And back down the other way they go. It'll be a race for it, but Walsh, her attack is broken up. But into the attack zone they go. It'll be a race for it. And Yana Hertog, she didn't even look like she had to try to get to that one. Fires inside, rebound up to the opposite side. It's taken over, and play is stopped once again with 17.54 left in the first half. One nothing to score for those of you just joining us. We'll line up here. Puck is back down and we're back underway. We'll duel for it right along the boards and it heads back into the neutral zone, skittering along. And O'Flynn tried to get it out there, but her pass blocked. They'll head in front again, looks inside with the backhand, and it goes wide. Taken over by Pareka. Out to the point again. They try to fire. It's missed off of the foot of Corvey. Off of the foot once again and out into the neutral zone it goes. And into the defensive zone for Wakefield. But they'll just pick it up and skate it back behind their own net. And into the neutral zone once more. And no offside as they're all able to tag up in time. Deeks one defender, up the ice they come, tries to send it over, but no icing on that play as the defenseman was too close for the official's liking. Taken over now by Corvey, she's brought down, no penalty. Blocked once again. Sent inside, blocked. They'll try to pick it up here, and up the ice comes Winchester on the stick of Kelly. Remains on side. Back behind the net. Try to shoot it in. 
and into the neutral zone it goes. Winchester forced to retreat. They send it inside. And into the neutral zone it goes. Long period of open play. A lot of neutral ice so far in this game. But Wakefield has a 1-0 lead just about six or seven minutes into the game. Banks it off the high part of the half wall, but they're able to keep it in play. Taken over now by Hertog. She'll bring it up the ice, tries to deke, but it's forced to retreat once again. They'll tag up in time. She tries to send it across the direction of Walsh, but the pass isn't able to go tape to tape. And they'll send it inside. And down the ice it goes for an icing. Face off to take place in the Winchester attacking zone. Could be a good chance for them. Corvey going to dig. Uh, Wang, excuse me, will dig in for the draw. And back underway. And into the neutral zone. It's a two on one for Wakefield. They send it across. And a good stop by Hillier. Back down the ice it goes off of the officials. And it goes for an icing. Chester gets a new line out there. Kelly will take the draw. And we're back underway. Into the neutral zone, it'll be a race for it. Wakefield wins it. But Burke is in a good defensive position but can't get her stick on the puck. Taken over now by O'Flynn who fires it over to Walsh again. But into the neutral zone it goes. Winchester forced to retreat. Taken over now, Sardone. Which is the playing with three defensemen. They send it across to Burke. Looks in, fires, and she sends it higher than that. And they're able to keep it in the neutral zone, in the attack zone. And play stopped on the save by Boudreau. Fourteen eleven to play here in this first half of action. Just about eight, a little more than eight minutes played. And we're back underway. Wakefield wins the draw. Sends it back behind the net, where it's able to be taken over by number three, Jana Hertog. Gets it out and into the neutral zone. Winchester makes a good play on it. They'll continue to take over possession here and try to get into the attack zone, which they are able to do. Looks up, fires, and it blocked off of the chest. But a rebound out in front. Good block there by Sardone. Hopefully no injury there, probably not. Sent back in, into the attack zone it goes. They're onside, fires it, and waffle boarded away there by Hillier. Sent along the half wall. Corvey tries to make the play there, and it'll just head into the corner, but they're able to pick it up now. Goes from the point, sends it in, just tries to chip it away. They'll fight along, and sends it into the neutral zone where they're able to pick it up once again. Now, it should be down the ice. No icing, however. And they'll just fire it down for an icing as O'Flynn is able to get there just in time and stops play for a attack zone face off for Winchester. Let's see what they can do with it with this chance. They'll line up for the draw. Kelly wins it using that red tape. The red makes it go faster. And down the ice it goes for an icing again.
because I did make a Warhammer reference. Uh, but the faceoff will take place in the attack zone once again for Winchester. As they ice the puck once again. And we're back underway. Lines up, fires it. Locked down. And they get it into the neutral zone. And she thunders into the attack zone. But it's picked up now by Walsh, who sends it over to Burke on that good pass, but it's received well. And it's taken over once again by Walsh. She'll try to send it across. Burke not able to get there for it. Out to the point. She fires it, and it goes wide of the net. Walsh tries to get there, but she's not quick enough to get there. But it'll head into the attack zone once again, but Winchester forced to retreat. And they do. Walsh just sends it in. But into the neutral zone it goes, and it's now picked up there by Gustafson. She tries to get the shot on net, but it just goes wide. And she's double teamed on the play. Taken over now, and into the neutral zone it goes. Wakefield forced to retreat, and they do. Quick line change here for Winchester. They'll send it up to Burke, who sends it across the ice to Parks, Parks unable to make the pass go. Corvey tries to get in there for the play, but it heads back down the direction of Parks. No icing on the play. She tried to send it once again to Corvey, but the pass broken up there by number 22, Maeve Racine. Sent inside, blocked down again. And now taken over by Sardone. Sardone goes back behind the net, loses possession. They'll battle for it. Continues to fight for and out to the low slot. The high slot, a 2 and it goes in. And Wakefield takes a 2-0 lead. I believe that was number two. Aaron Mulcahy with the score. But Wakefield goes for a line change as they take a 2-0 lead here with 10.50 to go in the half. Officials will line up as the players already are. It'll be Wang to take the draw against Porter and we're back underway. Porter wins the draw, gets it back to the point man. Porter now with it. Her deke is broken up there by two Winchester defenders. They'll get it into the new attack zone here now. Taken over, they'll go back around or along the corner. They'll battle hard. Player goes down to a knee, no call. Battle along the boards. And they'll send it into neutral ice. And it goes all the way back. And stopped there. Back behind the net. They'll go into the defensive zone. They'll send it into the neutral zone. And down the ice it goes. No icing on the play. Back behind the net goes O'Flynn. She'll try to send it across. O'Flynn up the ice the direction of Kelly, but they're unable to make the play. Into the attack zone goes Wakefield once again. But it'll be a break here. Kelly charges up the ice, but her pass, her shot broken up by the Wakefield defense. And play stopped again by Boudreau.
and they will win the draw there. Does Winchester, but it's already broken up. Back inside, behind the net. And around they go, the Warriors will try to take it up. And it'll be a fast break, they got a two on one here. Two on oh now, sends it across and a good save made by Hillier. Out in front, but play stopped once again. A little bit of extracurriculars after the play, but they'll stop right around now. Play stopped again. On the save by Hillier. We'll line up here and we're back underway. On the slap shot and another good save made by Hillier. Line up for the draw. Be back on the way. Back. Wakefield Wizard fires it in. And it's blocked well there by number 19. Parks. Gets it back again. Good battle inside. Fires it across, but it's broken up again. Corvey tries to get inside for the battle there, but they'll continue to fight for it here. Send it up, looks, fires, and it swings around the net. And it heads in right at the top, fires it, and it goes off the goal post there. The battle inside, puck comes loose. Able to pick it up now, but it's on the stick of Wakefield. It heads back out from the point, looks, it fires, and it goes in. And Wakefield takes a 3-0 lead. Just a little more than seven minutes to go in the first, and there it is. And we're back underway now. They're able to grab it inside the neutral zone. And back up the ice they go. Sent inside again. Back into the neutral zone it goes. They'll try to get it out again. Burke makes a good defensive stop, but it's taken over now by Kelly. And that quick break is broken up, but they'll battle down along the boards. Stays just barely inside. And it heads into the neutral zone. Back behind the net, they'll try to send it up. And it's broken up, but the play goes offside. And play stopped once more. And back underway. It'll send it back behind, looks in front, but it heads into the neutral zone again. No icing on the play. It'll head back. Other way where it's able to get picked up by the goalie, who she just fires it over to the opposite side. They'll battle along the corner. She looks inside, fires it, but it goes wide. And again, back down the other way. And no penalty there. So it's definitely a hook from our perspective. So look out from the point, fires it again, and a good save by Hillier. Rebound out in front. Goes back behind the net. They have to get into position. Rebound fires up. And it did the end. It goes in. And there's number four. 520 to play.
They'll line up for the draw. Back underway. And the score is 4 nothing now. They go in, sends it back to the neutral zone just to be safe. They try to fire it along. Pass broken up by her own stick. And inside they come. Fires once again. Ed Hillier drops into the butterfly to make a good stop. And back underway they go. Presented in a good save made by Hillier. The battle from the top. Dixon fires and it goes wide. Well, Flynn going to try to make get possession there. Burke almost there. Back into the defensive zone. Well, Flynn takes it and her pass almost broken up, but Burke sprints up the ice, sends it over the blue line, fires, and it goes into the trapper of Boudreaux. Back on the way now. Wakefield wins the draw and up the ice they go. Deeks one defender and it's a two on one here. Two on oh, fires and a good save by Hillier. Rebound out in front, but it's taken over now by Winchester. And into the neutral zone it goes. And all the way back it will go for an icing. Back underway, fires it in, and it goes tipped wide. They'll try to get it in. It goes back into the zone, fires it along, keeps it in play off the glass. And into the neutral zone it goes again. They'll try and sprint it back in. Pass broken up by her own stick. Taken over now by Parks, who sends it up to Corvey, but the play will be offside, but Wakefield retreats just in time. And play stopped again. And we're back underway now. Sends it in and a good stop made by Hillier. Out to the corner it goes. Not just stop the puck, but get it out of danger. That She did that well there. Sends it into the corner. And out in front again. Looks up, fires, and a good stop made. Once again, out, rebound, but play stopped once more. back underway. Winchester gets possession here and back up the ice they go. Park, uh, Kelly tries to make the play, but Burke takes over now. Goes from the half wall, sends it over to the top of the circles. And back the other way they will go. And play broken up well there. Battle inside and back the other way. Burke going to be in a drag race for it. And she picks up the puck. Almost, but it's broken up just in time by number 11, Fiona Racine. And all the way down the ice it will go. No icing there.
The battle low, but it's taken over now. Tries to send it up ice. Chipped inside again. Went across, but it, no true danger there. And it just flips out of play and into the bench. And we're back underway now. They'll try to get it back behind the net. Sent into the neutral zone and all the way down, but no icing as O'Flynn was just too close for the official's liking. Sent out to the circles. And it goes in with a minute to play in the half. Back behind the net now. They try to shoot it up ice and it will go all the way down. Four on icing. <sighs> They'll line up here. Back underway. Taken over by Wakefield and it goes wide of the net. Sardone picks it up behind the net, sends it across to Walsh. Walsh going to try to bring it up herself. But they'll just pass it across. Sardone has to turn around, head the other way. And she'll just send it up. No icing there. They'll just ring it around the boards. It's taken over again by O'Flynn. Less than 20 seconds now. O'Flynn grabs it, tries to send it in and Winchester retreats just in time. They'll send it up ice. Back over to O'Flynn, and the clock winds down to two and one and zero. And there's the half, ladies and gentlemen. And we will be back for the second half of action if we don't just immediately go. It appears they will be doing the ice. So we will take a break here and we'll be back in a few minutes with the second half.
And with that, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second half of action here between the Winchester High School JV girls ice hockey team and the Wakefield Warriors the girls varsity hockey team. So uh, Emma O'Connell should be coming in net now for Winchester after Hillier gave up four in the first. Score, as you can see on your screen, is four to nothing so far. Now comes the Warriors. They enter the ice, and so does Winchester. As we're just about to get started here. O'Connell will be on the ice for the first for the second half of action. He gets the second half start. Hillier did make some pretty good saves in the first 22 and a half minutes, but The onslaught from Wakefield was pretty relentless and they were able to put four past her. Some pretty impressive goals. One bar down shot from the top of the left circle. And it will be for the second half the second, the third line enters the ice for Wakefield. It'll be Fiona Racine, Kaylee Porter, and Bailey McDevitt. And behind them will be, they'll, they'll line up, it'll be Kelly versus Porter. Porter wins the draw back into the defensive zone of goes. Able to pick it up here and back the other way. Banks it off the boards to herself. Able to pick it up just in front of that. Out in front. But they're able to slap it into the corner now. Battles down low. Back behind. Looks over. Fires. And it goes wide of the net. Two players go down. But they play on here. No penalties for either side so far in the game. Out in front, goes across the netminder's face. She didn't have to make a save there. And into the attack zone it goes. Back behind the net. And it will stay in the attack zone for Wakefield. They'll battle for it down low and it Heads over where Burke is able to pick it up. She sends it across the ice to Walsh, but she misses picking up the pass there. Tries to lift the stick, but is unable to. Heads over the blue line. And they'll just bring it in. Sardone, a very aggressive use of her stick there, fires it in, and O'Connell makes her first save of the afternoon. Twenty fifty-three to play in the game. And we're back on the way. Wakefield able to win the draw. Fans on the shot. Picks it up at the top of the corner. Looks up, fires, and a good stop made by O'Connell. Stacks the pads and is able to make the save. Play is offside. Wakefield retreats in time. And up the ice they go. Tries to get it over the blue line, and they are able to. Taken now by Johnson. Still with it now, but she loses possession to Pareka. 
Corvey going to try to pick it up there, but unable to get there in time. And it's taken over now by number seven, Aaron Leary. Down the ice they go, brings it over the blue. Leary retains possession, but down the other way they go. It's a fast break here for Pareka. Unable to pick the uh, get the shot off. As she was pickpocketed there by Rossione and over the ice, the, the blue line they go. Rossione just sends it into open face where it's almost picked up by Wang, but it's just deflected away. And back behind the net, they'll fire it around. Taken over now by Corby, but her pass broken up. It's no real danger there against O'Connell. Fires it, and it goes about three or four feet wide of the net. So no true danger at all there. Taken now by Rossion, but her pass doesn't go. And into the neutral zone it goes, and Winchester goes off for a change. Pareka tried to attack the puck there, but couldn't get to it. Oh, Flynn tried to get it over to Corvey, but it didn't go. Uh, the low slot fires it in, and it goes off of the shoulder of O'Connell. Out in front again, looks up, fires, and it goes off the goalie's pad once again. And up and near the netting, no penalty there, fires it once more, and it goes off the back of the net, rebound out. It's back the other way. Sends it across. They'll skate it to the corner. And it's taken over by Burke. She looks fires, but her shot blocked. And we have played about four and a half minutes so far. They'll try to set it up. Taken over now by Parks, but the play is offside, but they're all able to retreat just in time. Taken over now by Parks. Parks tries to get it across, and it doesn't go. Back down the other way. They try to skate it up. She deeks one, deeks another, but unable to hold on. And back down they go. Tried to get in the way of the charging Wakefield attacker and out into the top of the circle it goes. They'll send it around the net where it will be picked up by number 14 in red, Julia Welch. Back down the other way it goes, no icing there. Goes into the corner. Where they're able to pick it up and try to get it to go the other way. Go. Kelly just fired it down the other way, but into the neutral zone it goes. They'll try to get it over the blue line now, and they are able to. <coughs> From the corner now, looks over, fires, and the shot blocked away off the stick of Parks. Wakefield goes for a change, and down the ice it goes for an icing yet again. Line up, back on the way. Into the corner it goes. Fires it, goes wide of the net. Tries to shoot it in, but it goes off the leg pad of Pareka. Inside once again, fires and a good stop made by O'Connell, using that glove to get out there just in time. He'll go once again along the boards and try to get an attack going here, Pareka. Able to pick up possession there. Tries to send it across to Corey. Excuse me, that was Lang. The pass couldn't go. Taking over now. Sardone tries to get it out. Her pass blocked. And the pass goes awry. But Wakefield will be forced to retreat. And they do. 
Tried to fire it down, didn't go. Fires it high, and it just skips away. Real bow for a place stopped here. What for exactly? Um, I believe a adjustment of the goalkeeper's pads. Face off stays inside. Let the goalkeeper get adjusted here. Basically, Winchester gets a free timeout with 15 20 remaining in the game. And she will head off the ice and probably just get replaced by Kellier for a few moments, or she'll. So let's use some athletic tape and just tape up the broken um, uh, strap on the pad. Wakefield and Winchester having a discussion of strategy here, of what they're going to try to do on the next play, depending on who wins the draw, of course. And we're back ready. O'Connell comes back onto the ice. And she should be just about ready to go. We'll line up here. We're ready for the draw. Here we go. And now we're ready to go. Back underway. Taken at the point. Sends it across the ice. She looks up, fires. It goes wide of the net. Into the corner it goes, sends it around. Burke tries to get possession there. She is unable to, but she's able to get it out the direction of Kelly. It'll be a race for it. The pass broken up there well by Sardone. Now taken by Kelly, who sends it across to Parks. Parks just sends it into open space, attempted a bank pass to Burke, I would assume. And they'll scamper over the blue line, fires it in, and a good stop made there by O'Connell. Fires a slap shot there, but it goes up. No danger whatsoever there on the last play. Battle down low, and it heads out into the neutral zone and into the red, into the attacking zone for Winchester at least. But she'll change direction on the dime and catches. Sally Burke unaware. Johnson sends it up to Racine. Back to Johnson now. She'll just fire it into open space. And they'll, won't go for a change there. Just try to get some forechecking action there. Tries to send it up there. They'll battle inside and up the ice goes Kelly. It's a two on no. Odd man rush here. Fires it and it goes higher than it. And goes out of the attack zone, so Winchester will be forced to retreat. And we battle for it there, and just skips into the attacking zone once again. Taken over by Tafio once more. They bring it over the blue line. Burke almost knocked down there. And back down the other way, they go. They'll send it in, fires it along the corner. Taken now by Sardone. Sardone almost loses possession there. She'll just fire it down the ice. And Winchester will go for a change on the icing call. Clean game so far on the penalty sheet. 
No penalties for either side today. So far, at least still 12 and a half minutes to go. He'll send it in along the corner where it'll be picked up there by Sardone. Deeks one, gets over to Corvey. Corvey battles for it. And the pass, the shot almost went in, but it did go just wide of the net. They'll battle inside again and it'll head into the corner. Taken now by number three, Yana Hertog. Hertog loses possession there and back up the ice they go. See the fight for it there. And just shoot it along. Tried the bank pass there, but it just didn't go. And into the attack zone, the clock enters. Corvey gonna try to pick it up there. She loses possession. Out in front again, fires. And it's blocked away. O'Connell sprawls out in an attempt to make the save, but the puck doesn't come, thankfully. And into the neutral zone it goes. Wakefield will be forced to retreat once again. Taken over now. She'll just send it up the ice. No icing on that last play. Defenseman was too close for the official's liking. Deeks one defender, tries to deke another, but it doesn't go. She picks up her own pass. Sends it down the other way. An odd man rush here, out in front, rebound. Goes to the side of the net, and play stopped with the trapper save by O'Connell. O'Connell so far has a, in this game, has a GAA of zero. She has not let up anything so far. Fires it in. And there it is, there's number five. They spoke a little too soon. And there's the goal. I believe that will have been number 19 or number 10, Sam Colliden. 11 minutes exactly remaining on the clock and the score moves to five nothing. They'll line up for the faceoff here. Referee says, let's go. Let's get this show on the road. And we're back underway. Burke couldn't get to the pass there. Sam Paladin did, in fact, score the goal. Fires again. Saved out. Rebound again. Out to the top of the, to the zone, and it's taken over. Burke going to try and battle it up high. Fires it in. And another save by O'Connell. Wholesale change here for Wakefield. They'll line up here and we're back on the way. They'll go back behind their own net. Tries to bring it up ice here. Sends it in to the neutral zone. Wakefield tags up in time. Tries to send it across to Burke, but the pass doesn't go. Burke tries to get in the way of it, and they do. Walsh. And a player goes to the ice. No penalty there. And they tag up just in time. And back down the ice they go. Looks inside, fires. Stick save by O'Connell. Back behind the net goes O'Flynn. O'Flynn tries to get it over to number 11. Um, number 10, excuse me, Sally Burke. Kelly tries to get it over to Walsh, but it doesn't go. They're forced to tag up again. Walsh. Sends it in to limited danger, and Wakefield will pick the puck up behind their own net. Tries to start an attack 200 feet down the ice. Player goes down to the ice, no penalty still. Fanned on the pass, and 
No offside there, taken now by Walsh. Walsh tries to send it up. And down the ice it goes into the attack zone for Winchester, but not for long as Wakefield's gonna try to get an attack of their own going. Beats one, beats another, fires, and it goes wide of the net. And it's taken now by O'Flynn. O'Flynn tries to bring it up ice, but her pass broken up. They'll take it back behind their own net and force to start a new attack. Tries to get it over and back down the other way. They'll send it across, or it doesn't go. Now it's taken by Sardone. Sardone. And back down the other way. Try to pick the possession up here. But the pass goes awry and it is And a too many players on the ice for Wakefield and Winchester gets their first attacking, their first power play chance of the evening for either team. So they will try to score here. Let's see what they can do. They line up here and we're back on the way. Looks in, fires, goes off some players, and it's stopped once more by the netminder. Porter serves the penalty. Back underway, tried to send it across the ice, and back down they go. Well, Flynn in a race for it. Fires and a good stick save by O'Connell. Sends it into open space once more. They battle along the, the wall. Player goes down to a knee, no penalty again. Tries to get it over to Burke. Pass broken up, but she just kicks it along. And up the ice, they go, but they'll send it wide of the net. And Winchester goes off for a change. Back down the other way. Well, Flynn tries to chip it in and back down it'll go. Winchester forced to retreat and it's a breakaway here, but it's broken up by O'Flynn. So it slows down quickly. The battle for it here. Burke tries to get for the puck, but unable to. And back down the other way they go. Broken up once again by number 12. One hour on my sheet. Uh, Bailey McDivitt, excuse me. 40 seconds remaining on the power play here for Winchester. They're able to clear the zone, but not clear it the whole way down, as they would probably have liked. Clears the zone again. Play is offside, and they tag up in time. They're able to get it in. Burke. Knocks it down, but it's offside, and they'll retreat once more. 15 seconds left on the power play, and down the ice it goes. They'll try to send it up ice, but it goes down for an icing. With three seconds remaining on the man advantage here for Winchester, score remains 5-0. Couldn't really get any attacking going on that last play. But we'll stop play here for a brief moment as the officials set up. And we're back on the way. Looking over now. Tries to get it up. And the penalty expires with no damage done there. And another good save made by O'Connell. Under six minutes to go in the game. Five nothing to score. Line up here, we're back underway. Wakefield wins the draw, fires it in, rebound outside, and it'll go into the corner, gets it out of any true danger. So let's see if Winchester can make an attack go here, but they get it back in, looks in from the low slot, rebound out just off of the goal mouth, but Winchester able to pick it up. 
Corvey unable to get possession on that last play. No battle low here. And the player goes down to the ice and back down the other way. It goes. Try to send it across. There we go. We'll have to continue the battle for it here. Sends it into the neutral zone, but they tag up just in time. Now taken over by O'Flynn. She tried to get it up the ice to Wang, but the pass was off. And now taken over by Sardone, who tries to get it over to Wang, and it works. And it is a two-on-one on there, but the pass broken up and back down. The other way they go. Fires and a good chest save made by O'Connell. Rebound out in front, but play stopped as the pucks as the puck was stopped under the pad of O'Connell. Play halted here once again. 4:33 to go. Back underway. Picked up at the point, tries to send it in, shot goes wide, they'll battle behind the net. Tries to get it out in front once more, back to the point, but it goes awry and they'll be forced to tag up once more. Sends it in again. Burke tries to bring the puck up, but she goes down to on her stomach, no penalty there. And a player goes down, hit a divot, and down she goes. Back down the other way comes Winchester. Let's see if they can get another attack going here. Burke crosses the blue line. Let's see what they could do. Walsh loses possession. And they'll head back down the other way. Looks over, fires, and it goes wide. And they'll send it into the neutral zone where Wakefield tries to pick it up, but they're unable to. They battle for it with Walsh. Tries to get possession here. And they're able to clear it out now. They get it into the zone. Out of the zone, excuse me. And the Wakefield tags up in time. Corvey just sends it down the ice. No icing. 3.05 remaining in the game. Tried to send it down, caught and dropped by number 11, Fiona Racine. And up the ice they come once more. Wakefield has had the puck nigh constantly so far. They're able, they aren't able to clear the zone, fires it, and it goes wide of the net. Player goes down, no call. Parks tried to pick it up. And back down the other way they go. Deeks one defender. Let the pass broken up and back down the other way go the Warriors. But their attack is taken on the stick. Flynn, battle right below us. Heads into the cent right around the center ice dot. She'll bank it off the boards to herself. Tries to get in, looks in, she's knocked down, no penalty. Officials letting a lot go so far. Fires it, and there it is, there's number six. Sixth goal of the game scored for Wakefield. Scored by number 23. That is Olivia Johnson. They'll line up for the draw here. And we're back underway. Hertog wins the draw. In they go, Walsh, she brings it over the blue line, gets it over to Burke. Burke definitely. Has 
played a great game so far. To the attack zone it goes. Get it up along the, the wall. And a minute remaining in the game. And up the ice they go. Attacking chance here. Goalie pulled. What on earth? That is very surprise. Uh, you're down 6 nothing, and you pull the goalie. Stranger things have happened, I guess, but that is surprising. Burke. Battles along the blue line, and it's offside, but they're all able to tag up. And up the ice they go. Let's see if she can score it here. And it's blocked again. Good save, but the first real shot attack and chance that Winchester's had all day. Back behind the net, O'Flynn battles. Less than 10 seconds to go now. The clock winds down to two and one and zero. And there's the horn, there's the hockey game, folks. Six, nothing to score. And from all of us here of Wincam, Camera operator was the director of Wincam, Dave. Thank you very much for joining us today. My name is Luca Tedesco. Thank you all so much for joining us. And we will see you tomorrow for some basketball playoff action. At 12.30, the varsity team will play at home, so we hope you can join us tomorrow. See you then, folks.